a voltage drop across a circuit. Okay, so here I have a 12 volt battery. Here I have a 50 ohm resistor. Here I have an LED. So I'm going to hook up the 12 volt battery to the resistor, the resistor to the LED, and the LED back to the battery. So now we got the LED glowing brightly, 50 ohm resistor. Okay. Here I've got a voltmeter. It's on the DC 20 volt scale. So let's see what we got. If I go directly across the battery with the voltmeter, I get 11.85 volts, right? Now if I go across the resistor with the voltmeter from positive to negative, the voltmeter says 8.34 volts. So I'm dropping 8.34 volts across this resistor. The difference in voltage between one end of the resistor and the other end of the resistor is 8.3 volts, 8.34 volts. If there was no voltage drop across this resistor, if the resistor was not dropping the voltage, there would be no reading. It would be zero. There would be no difference. So this resistor is dropping 8.34 volts of the circuit. Now let's measure the voltage across the LED. Okay. So measuring the voltage across the LED, what do I get? Sorry. Measuring the voltage across the LED, I get 3.45 volts. Okay, so the 8.34 or 8.3 volts that the resistor drops, 9, 10, 11, 0.45, so that's 11.9 volts about. And that's the total voltage of the battery dropped across the circuit, right? So each resistive element in the circuit, the resistor and the capacitor, both drop their own proportional share of the voltage. There is a voltage drop across the resistor. Thank you.